I don't know how it can get any better than this right now. Good morning everybody. Beautiful, beautiful morning here again this morning. A bit cold overnight, but it's supposed to be uh, fairly warm midday and that happens a lot this time of the year. You know, it's getting upwards to uh, getting close to March now, so March got uh, longer days and warmer in temperatures in the middle of the day. Just let my skidoo warm up there now. I'm going to go off for the day. Nice ways away, that's why you see me put an addition on that sleigh. To get that real good quality dry wood that was already burnt in a forest fire years ago you know you want to make it a worthwhile trip so i put that addition on the sleigh so i can put a lot more wood into it that wood is light so the sleigh can certainly handle it there won't be any issues there with overloading it or anything i got some good grub packed and uh we'll have a little swedish candle uh lunch today to cook up i'm also going to announce the uh, contest winner from a couple of videos ago that Fisker's um, cut off saw there. Beautiful little saw. I'm also going to bring along these two sleighs. I've had them there for years. And since I got this new sleigh now, it's actually called a Pelican Trek Sport 94, one of the bigger ones that Pelican makes. I don't really have a use for these sleighs anymore. So I figured I'd just give them away to somebody. One person knows that they're getting that one, but the other person doesn't even know yet they're getting this one. So they'll get surprised when they go to their cabin. So it's going to be a good day overall, no doubt about it. Stay tuned, come along for the journey. Do you want to go with me? Yeah? Just put your coat on. Let's go. Caravan of sleds. Here we go. see it in the camera or not but uh, you can see as you go up the tree line all the way across here the frost gets progressively uh, thicker up top so when you see that dark band down the bottom like that and frosty tips it usually means it's going to be a warm day it's going to warm up pretty quickly I'd be interested to hear if anybody else has experienced this as well drop me a comment stopped here for a minute just looking at how beautiful it is here calm morning and look at it I hope you can see it all these diamonds on the snow certain days are like that eh 
and the little snowflakes just to light reflect them off in just the right way. You think that's cool? Not as cool as you, huh? <laughs> Surprise, Peter. Enjoy, buddy. I stopped for a couple of minutes there. I noticed my GPS, which is mounted right here, uh, it had lost uh, satellite reception. Sometimes if your windshield, the frost is extremely thick, like it is here, it'll actually block the view from any satellites coming in. So if that happens, just flip off a little circle above the GPS and you should be good to go again. Not that I need my GPS today there, but Thought I'd mention it there in case anybody experienced the same thing. That's pretty awesome. These people got a nice little uh, ice skating rink made on the lake out in front of their cabin. I think I'll steal a little scoot across that one. I don't suppose they'd mind, would they? first come on let's go come on oh smart dog i say she must think it's either water or too slippery patty just bought this cabin so consider this a cabin warming gift not much uh, to look at but it'll get you through for a while enjoy all right we're down to the one sleigh here let's go cut some wood here we are, wood cutting ground. Right off the bat, I'm gonna take off a layer. That's the beauty of dressing in layers. You can always take off an outside layer and you plan on getting too hot. So this is an old forest fire from 2013. This wood is all dead standing and you can see all the the charred bark on it there, you know. And this is really good for uh, burning. Although you might say it's burned once, but actually it's only burned on the outside. And the wood is dead now, it's really dry. This was a huge forest fire back in the day. I know, because I worked on it. And it burned for weeks. Stressful times for our communities here. And a lot of people lost cabins and all sorts of stuff. It was a really bad forest fire. The only bit of benefit we'll get out of it is that it makes for real good firewood for our cabin, so at least we got something out of it. Froze up. Well, it's a long ways to come for my saw to be frozen, so uh, I'm gonna get it going. Uh, it's just that you got a couple options here now. Uh, light a fire or warm it up, but when you haven't got time to light a fire, I'll show you a real quick trick. This is where my snowmobile exhaust is, up and under here. So I'm going to put my saw right up and under here where the hot hair comes out, just for a minute or two. And usually 99% of the time, after a couple minutes, your saw will start the best kind. So let's give that a try. Sure if you can see it or not, the, the exhaust comes out right here. You might have to dig out a little bit. Just start her up. There we go, that's about a minute and a half. I can see a lot of the ice melted off the side of it there, so let's give it a try.
I'm going to cut this next stick. My sled is there. I like to drop my logs, trees, close to the sleds I can. I wouldn't recommend that if you're just starting off cutting wood. This is quite a tall tree here. Some of you guys ask me about the way I fall wood. And uh, knock, on, knock on wood, pardon the pun. I've never had an issue with this way before. I don't cut real big wood either, so it'd be different if you were cutting a gigantic tree or something. But I always step down the snow as far as I can, where my saw is on the go, so I can cut down as low as I can to the ground. Now from there, I want a tree to fall this way in this case. So I put my chainsaw bar completely perpendicular to the way I want to fall it. So I want it to fall that way. My bar stays this way. I'll cut through the tree till there's about, I don't know, an inch or so. When I get about an inch or so from the other side of the tree here, I'm gonna stop and I'll show you what happens then right after that. Okay, as you can see, I'm almost through the tree there, but the this fiber here on this side is, is still continuous all the way down to the stump, so it won't let the tree come back this way. So if I try to push this tree back towards the camera, it's not going to want to go back that way at all. However, it'll go this way effortlessly. See nothing to it, right where I intended it to go, and as close to my sled as possible. Boy, that is an extreme load of wood right there. It's probably uh, two and a half to three times what I would normally take. Now this wood is again dry and light, so I, you know I know the capabilities of this sled, and she'll handle this no problem. That Pelican Ram X plastic stuff they got, man, that's amazing. That's almost bulletproof. That is. Anyway, enough work. Time for some lunch. It's going to be a good one. Take advantage of this old stump someone left there and. Make a Swedish candle out of it. Guys, I got a real treat today. It's called uh, Moose Ring Alls. And basically, it's uh, flour, baking powder, water, moose, a bit of onion, and some fat back pork, or salt pork we call it here in this province. Not what you call it the most healthiest meal, but Every now and then it's all right. You're working hard. I'll put the recipe in the uh, video description for anybody who wants to try them. Comfort food, to say the least. Now, Willow can't have that kind of food, so I just brought along some moose for her. Nothing on it. Just plain old moose. You'll love that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Almost done. That looks grumpy.
my dog, it's time to eat. Now there's only one way to make those moose ring alls taste even better. You got that salt, onion, all that kind of flavor in there. I got some fresh uh, honey that uh, Ian and Leanne Curran sent me from uh, Northern Ontario. They sent me a big jar of it. I got it put in smaller jars for taking with me on trips like this. It is unbelievably good. So I'm gonna take a bit of that now and put it on top of one of those. Oh my. Now I just went from better to best real fast. Look at that guys. Now I've got the taste of sweetness on top of it. I can't even express it. It is so good. Thanks Ian and Leanne Curran. That was a really nice gesture of you to send me that bees honey like that. It is so delicious. I put it in my chag of tea. I have it on my toast in the mornings. It is awesome. Thanks again. Look at Willow's moose. Oh my. Very good, my dog. Absolutely. Time for a cup of tea now. I don't know how it can get any better than this right now. I see the Grey Jays just showed up. Usually whenever you have a lunch, no matter where you are in the country, a Grey Jay shows up. Well guys, we're gonna finish up this cup of tea now and our ring alls and a bit of moose that Willow got. And then we're gonna head back to trail. But our extreme load of wood, it's gonna take me Half hour, 45 minutes for sure to get back to the cabin. Take my time with such a big load in the sleigh, you know. And by the time I get home, that ptarmigan stew that I put on this morning should be just about right for supper. Well guys, thanks for coming along today on such a beautiful day. As you can see, we're enjoying the outdoors very, very much today. It was just a great day overall. When you can leave in the morning and you just take your time on a beautiful sunny day like this, it just makes for that much better of a day. There's no big hurry to get back to the cabin. I almost forgot one thing, the contest winner. You guys responded overwhelmingly to the last contest that I ran there. Hundreds and hundreds of comments came in. Thank you guys for that. And on the comment note, I read every single comment. I can't respond to them at all. I probably, some months I get thousands of comments. But always remember the people who keep on commenting. Your names stick out, you know, time after time. And I really appreciate when you guys tune in. And I appreciate it when you like the videos. It helps boost them along. So as you can see up on your screen now, I'm going to roll the winner. And the winner is Camo Creator. And I recognize your name, buddy. I see your name coming up on my videos quite often. And uh, when I saw that, I said, well, that's a great reward for that loyal subscriber. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment in this video telling me where you are, what your address is. We'll connect and I'll send you that saw free of charge. So congratulations to you. And other people who are watching this video, send me some comments and congratulate the winner. But we're heading back to trail. Until next time, guys, take care of each other. Get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time, guaranteed. How good of a dog is that? Huh? All right, let's go. Shoot, girl.